BT's Body and Balance is sponsored by Canada Diagnostic Centers, offering MRI, X-ray, and ultrasound services in Calgary and Okotoks. This week, we've been remembering the soldiers who made the ultimate sacrifice mm -hmm. for our freedom. But those soldiers who make it home, many have post-traumatic stress disorder. Health specialist Leah Sarich with now on how PTSD is a major problem for many uh, first responders. Mm -hmm. But there is treatment available, Leah. There is, and that's really the big message here today. So first of all, let's talk a little bit about what PTSD actually is. So that stands for post-traumatic stress disorder. And so this is a disorder that occurs after someone has experienced a significant traumatic event in their lives. And what what happens is, is that after that traumatic event, they experience symptoms, things like nightmares and flashbacks that persist so that they keep happening after that event has occurred. So they keep going on and on and on. And often we think of it, yes, in terms of soldiers from the battlefield or police officers, for example, on the scene, but it can happen to anyone at any point in their lives, you know, maybe from a car accident or a serious medical concern and so on. Uh, but I want to introduce you to a man called Terrell Cromie, and he is a former RCMP officer, that's him right there. He experienced two very traumatic events several years ago. In one case, he was involved in a shooting, and in another case, it was a motor vehicle accident involving children. And after the first event, Terrell started having nightmares, but thought, you know, he's just going to muscle through mm -hmm. it, as most of these first responders do. But after the second incident, along with those nightmares, he became extra anxious and extra vigilant about the welfare of his two sons. And he became so anxious, he actually got to the point where he was only sleeping a couple of hours a night because of that nightmares, because of that anxiety. And he actually wound up at his doctor's office office one day thinking he was having a heart attack when in fact it was simul uh, just a culmination of all of his symptoms and eventually he was diagnosed with PTSD in 2009. So once he got that diagnosis he was then referred to Megan who you're seeing here. Megan is a registered psychologist and she actually specializes in the treatment of PTSD. So it's a treatment that starts with getting him to a stable place that means he can regularly practice relaxation techniques so that he's stable but then that progresses to some very hard work. With PTSD, you want to be doing some type of an exposure-based treatment. And so what that means is uh, we have to carefully and systematically help the person with PTSD confront the trauma that they went through um, and really actually get them to engage with you know, what their body experienced, what their emotions did, um, what their thoughts were at the time, and help them to do that kind of over and over and over again so that their, their body and their psyche and their emotions has a chance to um, really process that and almost digest it. Yeah, so it is hard work. So Megan tells me treatment for PTSD is, in fact, quite painful. She says it's like, you know, if you broke your leg, for example, you'd have a lot of scar tissue and you'd have to go through a lot of painful physiotherapy to get your mobility back. And she says, you know, thinking about it that way when it comes to PTSD, it's similar because it is painful, it is hard work. Uh, and arguably, you know, you're taking people back to the very worst moment in their lives and asking them to stick with it and process it. So it is very important that you do this with a, someone who knows exactly what they're doing because this is very, very difficult work. Uh, but Megan says, too, the sooner you can actually get to someone, the better. But, you know, what often happens is, is that these first responders, they, you know, try to muscle through it. They say, oh, I'm going to be okay. It'll just go away over time. But in fact, it doesn't. Uh, so that what happens is, is that you get people like Terrell who have been through something very traumatic, and then it takes them years and years to actually get the help they need. And, you know, Terrell really hopes that anyone hearing this story, first responder, military, regular person, whatever the case may be, will actually get the help they need because for him, it's certainly made a huge difference in his life. It breaks my heart to see some of the guys that I used to, and girls that I used to work with that are, that are struggling. And um, PTSD um, is definitely something that is, uh, you can, you can uh, get through it. Uh, I think you don't ever get completely cured. I think you go into remission, and, uh, but it definitely is, is manageable and with the right help. And um, it takes a lot of work and a lot of time, but it is, uh, it is definitely something that you can you can have a productive life with. And that's what's happened with Terrell. You know, he still has some symptoms like the nightmares, but um, he can at least now deal with them and move forward and have a productive life again. So there is a lot of hope for those struggling with PTSD, and that's really the big message here. If you can get the right help and get the right therapist, you know, you can certainly move forward with a very productive life. It just has to um, be some hard work, and then you can move forward. Um, so if you think you have PTSD, you certainly want to talk to your family doctor or even call HealthLink at 811. They can certainly refer you to the right people to help you move forward with treatment. Excellent. Yeah, it is a real thing, and many it people is. struggle with it and yeah. might not know. More information on your blog. As always, yes. Breakfasttelevision.ca.